All right, I am in Chicago this week and I have the Ford Ranger Raptor. And you know what I'm going to do with this? I'm gonna take it around the city and we're gonna see how it fits. So first up, we are gonna park in my city garage and we're gonna see one, if it fits and two, how well it fits and how difficult it is to maneuver because in case you haven't noticed, there are trash cans and obstacles and I have a neighbor parked in my garage. So it's gonna take a little bit of maneuvering. My name is Jill Simonello with Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk and let's take a closer look at the Ford Ranger Raptor in Chicago right now. my seatbelt and here we go now I will say there is an around view camera in here which is certainly helpful in terms of making sure that I am clear on the front end as well as the back end of the vehicle and my neighbor was super helpful this week and that they parked far to the right Straighten this out. There we go. And it's the front right fender that I have to watch. Kind of hang my head out the window a little bit. All right, there you go. Now let's see if the garage door closes. Yep, now the next thing we need to check is if the rear door is going to open. Right, so it fit in my garage now. Um, let's see how well it fit in my garage. I have plenty of space between my neighbor and the Ranger Raptor. I managed to stay on this side of the line and the next big test is going to be whether or not I can open this rear door without hitting the truck. success. All right, now that I've shown you that we can fit this in my garage, we're going to we're going to go see if we can find a parallel parking spot. How difficult could that be in Chicago, right? Okay, so I found a spot that I think I can fit in. My husband does not think I can fit in it. So, we're going to we're going to give it a go. Um We'll see. Okay. So one of the things that I really like about this camera is you do have the dynamic lines and you do have an around view camera. And this isn't a terribly narrow street, so that's certainly helpful. Plenty of space. 
my husband was a naysayer. I have plenty of space. So I like the camera. It is um, certainly helpful. It flips to the front as you put it into drive and get close to something. And then, um, you know, I like the, the red, yellow, green lines so that it shows you uh, where you are in the placement of the vehicle. Of course, it's gonna go off when I do that, but it shows you where you are in the placement of the spot, how close you are to the vehicle behind you. You also have dynamic lines, which is certainly helpful um, as you're turning your wheel to know the trajectory of the vehicle. And I do like the around view monitor, but I will say this is a little bit small. Um, and I don't, I don't know with this screen, the way it's set up, if there's a way to fix that. I don't know if maybe this could pop down because you do have your manual HVAC controls here. But uh, yeah, I mean, this makes parallel parking this vehicle in the city a lot easier. It would be certainly a little bit more difficult if we didn't have these things. From outside the vehicle, this is what it looks like. Again, I had plenty of space. I don't know what my husband was thinking, that he didn't think that I would be able to fit, and plenty, plenty of space. Now, you're certainly gonna have to be a little bit more thoughtful when you're parking, and this vehicle has you know, little things that pop out. <laughs> so you're definitely wanna, gonna wanna give yourself a little bit more space than what you would in a sedan or even just a regular mid-sized truck. Not to mention the fact that this is going to be wider than a lot of the vehicles on the road, so you're just gonna wanna get as close to the curb as possible. But I'm gonna pat myself on the back for that. I feel like I did a really good job. My husband said no. <laughs> All right, for today's uh, video, what I'm going to do is navigate this small city parking lot and then we are woo, going to um, go into my bank drive-through and we're gonna withdraw some cash. I'm leaving for the Rebel tomorrow and uh, I need to have money for bribes. I mean, I'm just kidding. I'm not really gonna be bribing anybody, maybe, but it's always good to have cash just in case. All right, if you've watched the other city videos that I have done, this is probably gonna look familiar to you because this is just a very narrow driveway to get down. And then when you get to the ATMs, you have various narrow spaces. So it looks like there's an ATM to the far left and then the one straight ahead. Obviously, the one straight ahead is going to be the easiest to get through and probably the one that I'm going to fit in. But let's see. Let's see who's first. Huh, the easy one is first. So this somehow feels a little less wide than the Bronco Raptor I brought through here, but I will tell you, I am throwing proximity sensors. All right. All right, I will say I did feel a little bit high um, from the cash machine, but I definitely fit through the space really well. Certainly better than the Bronco Raptor, I feel like. I feel like the Bronco, I mean, I could be completely wrong here, but I feel like the Bronco Raptor was a little bit wider than this. So I was able to fit in my garage. I've been through the Wendy's drive-through. I fit through the very narrow bank drive-through and I'm going down city streets pretty well. So I feel like this is a lot easier to maneuver than I thought it would be. Now, as I'm maneuvering through city streets, um, unfortunately, I couldn't mount this to the roof because there is no sunroof and the Raptor, or at least not this Raptor. Um, but I kind of want to look at this screen here and it's going to be a little bit difficult. But the point I'm trying to make is I have bike lanes all up and down this street. And typically when I'm in a truck that's a little bit wider, what I like to do is hit the camera button. And what it should do, what I would like for it to do is to show the camera facing front. And what this camera has done is it's got a split screen and you do have a couple of different options here, but it's, it's not much. So you, while you're 
stopped, you've got the around view, you've got the front view, and you've got like kind of this, what, it's like a 270 degree angle. But say you put the around view up here, and you're trying to check your um, side for the bike lanes, as soon as you get to speed, the camera shuts off, and when you try and turn it back on, you just get this split screen. And, and it's facing out the rear, it's not facing the front. So this, I think, is a little bit of a miss, especially in a city situation, when you're a little bit wider and you're dealing with bikers and bike lanes and things like that, I would really like to have um, the around screen or the front screen so that I know that I'm staying within my lane at speed and, and this doesn't do that. And I'm really sorry that, you know, the angle for this is bad, but just trust me, this doesn't do what I wanted to do and other trucks allow you to do that. So um, the GMC uh, Canyon, the Chevy uh, Colorado have the front facing cameras um, and allow you to drive with the cameras on at speed and this, this doesn't. Before I get into some final driving impressions, there is one thing I want to point out to you, and that is city fuel economy is not ideal. I have been driving this in the city all week, and um, yeah, granted I've only done about 32 miles, but 9.4 miles per gallon, that is not, that is not city worthy. All right, we are going to drive down one of my favorite streets in Chicago to take test cars down because it has a lot of potholes and a lot of speed bumps. Uh, if you're from Chicago, you may know Cortland. Um, if you're not from Chicago, just take my word for it. It's pretty narrow and it has a lot of speed bumps and potholes on it. But what I really like about the Ford Ranger in this vehicle is the fact that it like if there wasn't a car coming at me, I could have taken that speed bump without slowing down. So here's a speed bump. I'm going 20 miles an hour. <laughs> it does not phase this vehicle. I get really irked in Chicago with speed bumps that um, slow you below the speed limit. The speed limit on the street is 25 miles per hour and you have to like essentially in any car that's not this, go like five miles an hour to get over the speed limit that makes me angry. Don't have to slow down in this vehicle. Now, the one thing that I do have to do though is make sure I'm hugging the parked cars and that I'm very over to the right when oncoming traffic is heading in my direction. And you know, that is a little bit uncomfortable in tight city spaces, especially when people like this Nissan don't know the proportions of their vehicle. Um, but for the most part, I really, really like the Ranger Raptor. I think it does incredibly well in a city environment. It handles all the bumps and horrible, nasty roads that you have. And then it will um, be able to hit the highway and be super comfortable at the same time. So there's a lot going for it in terms of being a city vehicle. It even fit in my garage. So it also manages tight, parking spaces, it did the drive-throughs, it did the bank ATM uh, drive-through. And so I'm feeling pretty good about the ability of this vehicle to be very comfortable in a city environment. I will also say this does have a reasonably good turning radius. And what that means is you can wedge yourself into spaces you didn't normally think you would be able to wedge yourself into. So. Do I think the Ranger Raptor is a good city vehicle? Ironically, yeah, I do. All right, that is what I have for you in the Ford Ranger Raptor in Chicago. Thanks for watching and I will see you down the road.